Hi everyone, I'm Danielle Matus here at Caring Medical Florida. I wanted to share with you a recent case that I saw that was really interesting involving thoracolumbar syndrome. So patients with this, it's actually not very common, although we're finding that it actually might be a little bit more common than we think, uh, where patients complain of low back pain, like maybe in that lumbar pelvic area, but the pain generator is actually coming from a little bit farther up the spine. So we have our cervical spine, our neck, our thoracic spine, and our mid-back, and then lumbar to sacrum. So this area here, where that thoracic spine meets the lumbar, that's the area that we're talking about. And so patients with this syndrome will oftentimes come in complaining of pain down here, right? Like they have pain maybe kind of in the back, right by their SI joint pelvis, their buttock, might even get pain kind of down into their hip area. And so you would think intuitively, oh, let's see what's going on here, right? That's where the pain is. That's got to be right where the pain generator is. But people with thoracolumbar syndrome, actually, it's coming from way up here. So this patient that I had came in for low back pain. Like that was it, kind of same thing, down by that pelvis SI joint. And um, we really, in my opinion, did a very good job doing prolotherapy to the lumbar spine, but we weren't quite getting rid of his pain. Things are better, but they're kind of moving slowly. It's not quite, you know, getting meeting the goals that he had and the goals that I had for him. So we did a motion x-ray of his back and we actually saw, okay, here's the sacrum L504, three, two, one. Here he is, here's T12, T11. You see this, here's the end of T12. And then you see here how it's kind of like a stair step. That's that thoracolumbar error that we're talking about. Even though he has no pain there, confirmed on exam, no pain, we started targeting our prolotherapy more up in that region. And it was almost like immediately he started to feel so much better. So we did three more additional treatments on that area and he finally got back exercising and doing the things he wanted to do. And it wasn't that he wasn't improving when we did the lumbar spine. He wasn't making as many gains as we both expected until we really tar started targeting that area. Hope you found this interesting. See you next time.